Okay, P1, Phantom 1. Battery, it's right by the back seat on the left side. It's right here. I don't know if you uh, can see, you need some light. Give me a second. Okay, battery shut off. You screw in, it's on. You screw out, it's off. Okay, so let's screw it in. That's on. Then, same as the other car. I always use starting fluid when it's cold. I like to help my old ladies. <laughs> Little starting fluid. Be very careful not to lose this washer. If you lose this washer, ain't gonna start. Okay. This is the fuel shut off. You pull and turn and it goes down, that's off. You pull and turn it and it's up. When it's up, it's on. This, the fuel system is on. Then, choke. Here's a arrow to start. You flip it. Okay. Knobs up, up. This one should be in the center. You don't have to move it. Ignition. All the way to I and C. It's not an L, it's I and C. Okay? This one you don't need it. Make sure it's in neutral. The starter button, right here on the bottom. That is the starter button. Okay? You spread it. Bring the knob down halfway. And this way you control. Control your idle with this one, with the left. Fast, slow. Start. Once you start, take that off. You can hear it. That was beautiful. It's important to turn the ignition off at the end, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. I missed that step. Every car, you have to turn the ignition off. Okay? Otherwise, you're going to burn the coils out. Or you're going to, and you're going to cook the battery. So always. But sometimes they turn off and people forget to turn this off. They think, oh, the car is off. That's it. No. You got to bring it to the off position. Always. Even if the car turns off on its own, because sometimes they do that, Make sure you turn it off. Okay. 